the hierarchy of security from the local level right up to the high, uh, the highest level has broken down. Uh, the way you see people flaunting money in the midst of poverty is something to that cause some of these youth to resort to what they are doing. So uh, if, if, if you, from your analysis, from your opening statements, you, you talked about uh, the, the high incidence in the Federal Capital Territory and Lagos, uh, you know that those are the areas that uh, a lot of money is moving around these days. Uh, you had uh, politicians who came in and flaunting so much wealth. In the midst of penury, uh, you are shouting about saying that uh, you are buying uh, vehicles that are worth 160 million naira, telling Nigerians who are, are hardly putting a meal in their, on their table. And then you who are presenting them are uh, saying this without any sort of uh, uh, of uh, pity for the people whom you are presenting. So if you are presenting me and I can hardly eat, and you are riding a vehicle that is 160 million naira worth, uh, not just that, you are flaunting money left, right, center. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a call for something that even our leaders themselves must push themselves of content for the citizens. That way, you start having security building from within the society. The problem is that there's a lack of citizen-centered governance in this country. The leadership is detached from the citizens. The citizens are only brought into government only when there are politicking. That's during the political campaign. That's when you see citizens have their say. They go to you, they tell you all sorts of stories, promises, and then uh, they come back and the rest. The moment they are sworn in, you hardly see them. They come in with tinted glasses, having security details, driving people left, right, center. Retired the actual time. contact between them and the citizens are uh, no more. So this itself propels insecurity. Now, gathered to that, again, is the lack of citizens being involved in security. 